Guys, it is 10,000 degrees outside. It is hot summertime, but the fishing is hot as well. We're going to take each of the Yum Soft Plastics out of the July and August bag and show you how to fish them. First lure we're picking up, this is my personal favorite in the bag. This is a Yum Thumping Dinger. What this is, this is a stick bait that has a little flag-like thumping tail. This is a great bait to flip, pitch, drag on the bottom, or even just reel and have some really great action. This is going to be the first bait that I'm always going to pick up. Oh, I got him! <laughs> the Yum Thumping Dinger, this is the best bait to just simply drag over cover. If you can see a log sitting in the water, flip it out there, drag that thing over, give it a little swim, just like this guy, he's going to knock the fire out of it. Well, he tore up my Thumping Dinger. Let me show you how to rig one of these up. What I've got here, I've got our X-Point hook from the bag. I've got our quarter ounce Scottsboro Tackle Tungsten weight. Got me a little pin for it. Take your Thumping Dinger, you're just going to go straight through the top. And I like to find where it's got that belly slit on it. What I do? I take it through about a quarter of an inch to where the hook bends. I pull it through, and then I'm going to rig it straight through that little belly slit to where my hook is just barely coming out of the top just like that. With a wide gap hook, it works better that way, and I'm going to go drag this dude. The thumping dinger that I'm fishing with right now, I'm going to choose this bait if I don't know where the fish are at. I don't know if they're shallow, if they're deep, if they're mid-depth. I don't know where they're at. I'm going to find them with a thumping dinger because it works in every depth. Oh, get in <laughs> Got him on the swim. Guys, if you notice the fish are shallow, we're going to switch up to the spine crawl now and show you how to Texas rig it. Going to take your hook, going to put it right through the top of the head here. You're going to come out to where the hook point bends. You're going to pull it through. You're going to push it up the shank to the eye of the hook. This is really cool. It's got a little slot right here. It tells you right where to put your hook point through. So you're going to slide your hook point through there. And you're going to put that hook point right back into the plastic. It's got a little spine that runs up the back where you can put that hook right back through. Now you're ready to catch some bigs. You're going to take the spine crawl and you're going to fish it a little bit differently than the thumping dinger. I like to use this bait for shallow cover because it is a compact, quick action bait. I'm going to take it, I'm going to find me a tree or grass or any little piece of shallow cover and I'm just going to pitch it in there. I'm just going to worm this bait through. I want it to come over every branch, every piece of grass, fall, and have that really great tide action in this guy. We notice there's not as many fish up shallow right here in this pond that we're fishing, so we're going to go to our third option. We're going to put on a 316, it's a little bit lighter tungsten weight, and we're going to grab our yum ribbon tail, and we're just going to fish it out in a little bit deeper water. I'm going to pull out the big worm, you know, a little bit farther in the day or if I'm fishing at night. This is a bait that you want to throw whenever the bass are in deep cover. So I'm going to look around. If I can see a tree out in deeper water, that's where I'm going to cast this bait. Or I'm just going to blind cast it down the bank. If you're at a pond you don't know about, just start casting it down a bank and dragging it on the bottom. There's one. Awesome. Well, looks like we figured out what they want to bite. First cast with the ribbon tail and we get a bite. This ribbon tail, it is incredibly simple to rig, just like the other options, but this one, you got this little flat stomach on here where you know you're rigging it right. So what I do is I take my hook point, I pass it through up to where the hook turns, pull it through the stomach, pull it up to the eye, and then I'm gonna put it back through the stomach here. I'm going to let that hook lay right on the back. I'm going to put a little bit of that hook in the plastic. Man, you're ready to fish. I want you to drag this bait painfully slow. That is how you get the most amount of action out of this bait and you get the best results. You get the most bites. If you're just going to barely drag this thing, because you want fish to actually think this is a real worm just trying to slowly get away. You know a worm, you see it sitting on the ground. It's not moving very fast, so you want this bait to be crawling over the cover. Just very slowly pulling it over and dragging it back to you. There he is. Swimming a worm on the bottom, it's the way to get bit. But guys, I promise you, you pick up all three of these soft plastics from the Banking Creek Tackle Kit, put them on your Texas Tree ingredients, you're going to catch a lot of fish this summer.